<laughs> now, the truth is you can know a person better than they know themselves. If you can feel their emotions. You see, just because a person can't feel their own emotions doesn't mean you can't feel their emotions. You, you've, you notice this a lot, right, in your day-to-day -day life, don't you? Like, how, how somebody's in a rage and you say, oh, you seem pretty angry. I'm not angry. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you talk about something and somebody changes the subject on you. And every time you try to talk about that subject, they change the subject. And you say to them, every time I try to talk about this subject with you, you always change the subject. No, I don't. <laughs> right? Now, often on the receiving end, we can see that, how we can see an emotion inside of a person that the person themselves can't even see. The truth is, though, that when you can feel everything other people feel, that's the time when you know them. That's the time when you know them. It doesn't mean they even know themselves. You can actually know a person without them knowing themselves. All right? And this is a very powerful... Now, how do you get to the stage where you can feel everything they feel? By feeling everything you feel. Uh -huh. That's the only way you can do it. If I'm open to all the emotions of my own flowing through me, now I can be sensitive to the emotions that are flowing through the other person. Does that make sense? And a lot of times the emotions flowing through the other person might not be that good. You know, you might, you go, see, this is the reason why we don't like doing this to a degree, because if you can feel everything that another person feels, that might sound good when all the things they feel for you are great. But what happens when what they really feel for you isn't that great? What happens with what they feel for you is actually, no, I'm not that attracted to you, and I don't really care for you, I'm just sitting in this relationship because it feels like I have to, and religion tells me I have to, and I've been here for 25 years and it's scary to get out of it. What's, what, what if that's the feelings they feel? That they never voiced to you and now you're open to feeling. Now that's going to be quite confronting, isn't it? Can you see how we are so tempted as a culture and as a, as a, as a human race to deny our own feelings because we need to deny the feelings that other people have towards us? We, we try to stay away from what they feel about us and in the process, we have to shut down what we feel as a result. And so we're in this process of suppressing emotion. To actually, to actually be connected to somebody, we need to have a desire to feel what they feel. This actually is the main cause of relationship breakdown. One or both parties has no desire to feel what the other person feels at a truthful level. And as soon as that, okay, that happens, what will happen is the relationship will begin breaking down. And so the beauty is that we need to have this feeling inside of us that I want to feel what my partner feels. I want to feel what's going on for them in every aspect of their life. How do they feel about family? How do they feel about sex? How do they feel about our relationship? How do they feel about me as a person? How do they feel about my body? How do they feel about my looks? How do they feel about our life? How do they feel about what we're desiring to create? Do they have a passion for any, every one of those things? <laughs> now, it's highly unlikely when we begin any relationship that any person is going to have many of those feelings. And so what we finish up doing is we detune from a lot of them to cut ourselves off from the emotions that we feel as a result of them not feeling these emotions for us. And in the process of doing that, we can no longer feel theirs either. We can no longer feel their emotions either. This is why we're of, often couples come and say, oh, we'd like to work on our relationship. No worries, you're very upset with your partner. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm sorry, you are. Right down there. And I can actually describe the emotions. This is what I can feel in you. This, 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 this. And by the time you get to three or four, it's quite confronting now, isn't it? And so then anger usually is the next step that most people take. But, but the truth is that if you're open to feeling all of your own feelings, you can feel the emotions that everyone else feels, even about other people. And you can describe them. You'll get to a point in your progression, actually, 
that you'll be able to describe them so accurately to the person that they'll instantly get into emotion because of your description. Does that make sense? Just because all you're doing is describing how it feels, how their feeling feels to you. And it's, this is not a feeling based on reaction. So you're not angry because of... So a lot of times I notice people saying things like, oh, you're angry to somebody else. And I go, they're not angry, they're sad. Can't you feel their sadness? What you're feeling is your own response to their sadness, which is anger. You know, but they're actually feeling quite sad. You know, quite often you see this between in a partnership where the woman might be sad and the man. Every time the woman's sad, the man feels responsible for his mother. <laughs> right? So, so every time the woman's sad, he feels like he's getting attacked. He feels like he's, something's going to be demanded of him now. So instead of feeling oh, compassion for the woman's sadness and feeling like, why is she sad? What's going on? He's not feeling that. He's feeling his own emotions of, damn it, I'm so sick and tired of a, of a woman being sad around me because that means I've got to go and do something to fix it. You know? <laughs> and that's all to do with his issue, issues with his mother. But he then imposes that onto the relationship. And so then he decides to detune from what the real feelings are within her. And he gets into an anger, which is actually detuning even from his own feelings in response to the feelings that she has. And this happens all the time in relationship. So, so when we have a pure desire to feel everything our partner feels, now we could say that we're really starting to feel like we want and be open to having a relationship with this person. <coughs> 